Yesterday I summoned on the brand new tier banner and today we are finally getting to put it to the test. Is he the new best unit in the game or at least one of? I've been hearing a lot of talk about this man and we'll see if that's rightfully so. I mean we could go ahead and kill Barn here. Let's just go for Meliodas. Let's go for Meliodas. We'll go for the double AoE. There's going to be a lot of stat reduction. I haven't seen Brunhild hit that hard in a while. Can we see Tear hit even harder? I mean she does have max cosmetics. And he certainly does. He's missing a weapon? Is this right? Did Netmarble test this guy? I'm... I mean, yeah, I do the same too, right? And I mean, that was just pure insanity. I am running the Ragnarok Barn backline for the extra attack related stats, but if we're already tanking that well, maybe I should go ahead and swap to the Zeldris to get a bit more of the, you know, like basic related stats, because we're going to be going second a lot with all of these units or everyone other than Deanne being on a attack set. We could run the Deanne as well, but her being in the field is a lot more important and having an HP defense on her is all right. Ooh, yeah, he doesn't tank well. Um, Is he just as good as dead here? I mean, Barn's going to use his card and then that's going to be tier out of the field. Yeah, this is this is going to be our big problem. Going second can definitely get us killed. And a, another... Oh man, I mean, how are we supposed to compete with that kind of CC, please? Man, I need this 13 mil box CC and I need it now. The amount of people I've been coming back to that have been running full demon team, full HP, they're rocking 410,000 CC. I know it's been a while since I've played the game, but man, you guys need to chill out. Have I been a loot for that long? If, it, if I went ahead and summoned for the Mushuko Tensei characters, would I be at 13 mil and would I be able to do this kind of stuff? Not like this guy, everyone everyone can run this team. If you played the game, you have LR lost Spain, but I didn't, so we're here and we're hopefully gonna be able to go first. Or maybe I need to do ungear, right? Oh wow, and this is gonna be really interesting because I do not have a clue what any of these units do. The matchup we've got here though, with us being pretty much mono red. Uh yeah, I didn't have a clue what Galane or I didn't even know who the middle character is. I was gonna watch Mushuko Tensei before the collab came out, but Having not been playing the game, I was like, hey, we can we can totally skip out on that. Is this just gonna one-tap everyone? I mean pretty damn close. She she must be tanky because she survived that oh, never mind, she has she has Tarmel Grace. I mean, it is a spectacle being able to see units do that. Top 100, right? If you're using this as a defense team, and you can obviously use food. I've been using this team on auto, and might I say to farm gold anything in the game, it is bar none the best team. You can two turn auto some of the SP don't of the stages which is insanity but can you like defend against this team if it goes brunhold and then into his card is there anything you can really do i'm gonna we'll go ahead and watch him one tap nanashi oh is he actually gonna do it yeah get out of here 311,000. he's got lr stats i mean maybe not having lr stats but definitely having lr damage and man this guy's also got really low cc Oh, well, that's right. We'll go ahead and stomp him, and then I might go ahead and move over to Ungear. That way we can see how he looks in both versions of PvP, because, I mean, it is always impressive seeing how these guys rock in geared PvP. I feel like this is the more fun side of PvP, if you must, but... Man, that is... That is some good damage. I'd much rather have the Purgatory Melee instead. I know Barn's a lot better, but... Man, just having even one attack with the True Magic, or Dark Magic, whatever it's called, he can do some wild, wild damage. You're the AoE, aren't you? Yeah, we can definitely kill Barn in this next one. And that's just a buff removal. Mm, I've also heard people have been really enjoying this guy with Scardi. That could definitely be a team to run. I have both attack crit and HP defense for Scardi. So I'm thinking maybe putting her on a HP defense set to once again boost the CC because that has been the main downfall of today's video. Please live this. 113. Bit far off tanking that. Who is this in the back? You're... Oh... Okay, SR Liz, wow, it has been a minute since I've seen anyone use you on PvP. We can go ahead and delete her and then that should give us the Brunhold ultimate. Then we can hopefully just kill whoever else is left. Oh my god, you see how much damage she did to Barn there? Absolutely evaporated. Eviscerated? Whatever, oh no, please go for Barn again. Brunhold, you're throwing! Nah, there's no way. I should have targeted but I didn't expect her to die just to the AoE. I mean, we can pray that we can kill Barn with this AoE, but he'd have Deantor, wouldn't he? No? Why are you going for... Why are you going for his Barn? What is that turn? Okay, well, I'm glad he's throwing. Handed us the win. Oh, man. If that could kill, that'd be great, but... Oh, that is gonna kill. Oh, wow, and then we can finish off with Brunhold. I mean, Tyr technically carrying. He did the most damage turn one, and then kind of... 
made himself such a threat that they had to go for Tear and then Brunhild could do the rest of it. I was thinking about maybe putting her on HP defense, but let's see what we're coming up against. Is that definitely more scared of the Red Gotha at this point? Can we still go ahead and get rid? That's a la last vein. Have you got the Holy Relic? No Holy Relic. Okay. I mess with it. I mess with it. Let's see if he's still looking as impressive though. Obviously an Undead not being able to cater units to more of the damage-y side of things. I still feel like we're gonna untone everyone and Escanor is gonna be in his final flame. Depending on the alt levels, of course, we may still be in trouble. This is fun though. I really like- This is that kind of Ludo-esque feel of a team that I just really enjoy. That kind of out CC you win. Man, Tear? I mean, this is only first video, so it's a bit hard to say, but could Tear end up being the new Lido? So for me, Lido Souls reigned as the best, you know, or my favorite PvP unit since he released. And even before he released, being a free-to-play, I knew I was saving my cosmetic upgrades for him. I knew I was going to save up for cosmetics in general. I was going to make sure I got that character, and he just hasn't disappointed. It's going to take someone like Ultimate Escanor to bring Tear down, and then we can finish up his barn with Brunhild. Or we get the forfeit. Another Gotha team. Is Gotha the go for unranked? Surely not. Let's go with the tier card first this time. That way we can get things under wraps. I don't feel like Escanor is going to be enough of a threat. 3-6, that's two revives. I mean, I could just go ahead and kill Dien instead. If that keeps Escanor alive and then we kind of burst him out in the one turn. I found one place where Escanor has really proven to be a threat was in the hero arena mode. I only got to do one of the weeks of it and then... I think I chose the middle difficulty, um, not challenger, not champion, but the one below it, if I'm not mistaken. I was still able to use associations because I didn't realize that if you failed, you could re-attempt it. So I really didn't want to mess up. If I had it done the higher difficulty, I probably could have got LR Lost Vein in the one week, given all the login coins and stuff you got for the LRs, but really wish I had known that. But it, I know it now, and then whenever they want to return that mode, I'll be able to get him straight off the bat. Yeah, you really don't like Tear being alive. I mean... They, he avenged himself or they kind of traded places and we're in the exact same spot we left the last match. And a final match, I mean, I feel like I have been enjoying Tier on the ungeared side a little bit more. I mean, we did just come across some um, much, much higher CC players, which is where his biggest downfall is going to be. But once again, the whole suggestion of the top 100, I mean, I'm sure people are already doing that, right? JP players have probably had their hands on this guy for like a month, oh, sorry, not a month, for about a week now. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was that was kind of rude. Are you going to get more than one revive or are you a uh, low, low alt level boy? Yeah. It's sad. I mean, I'll let him finish this match off. He can kill his own Escanor or he can go ahead and give us another forfeit. We'll, we'll see the tier forfeit screen because, I mean, every other time we've gone ahead and skipped it. But, man, he is a whole bunch more fun. I definitely plan on doing extra videos with him. I want to go ahead and do one with Scotty, but if you guys have other units that you suggest him or me use him with, by all means. Unfortunately, I don't have the Freya uh holy relic whatever uh, wherever he is yes unfortunately i don't have freya's holy relic so i could still probably go ahead and use him alongside him but he's not going to be as optimal as he may be otherwise but yeah by all means let me know in the comment section down below that is about does it for today's video if you guys enjoyed if so please leave a like and subscribe it really means a lot to me and i'll see you guys for some more brand cross content